setting the information from one peg up to its master peg. And the first way I've showed you a couple of times when we've put pivots on, and that would be simply setting one, and then taking that information, let me set this one, and taking the information and copying it and pasting it into the same windows. Let me close that. And you'll see that this one and this one are exactly in the same position. I'm going to do control Z, control Z, and then control Z to sort of bring it back. Another way of doing the same thing would be highlighting the same the, the two pegs that you want to have the same pivot position. And then if I drag this over, because they're both highlighted, you can see that they're in the exact same position. And if I go and look at the coordinates, you'll see that they have the same coordinate numbers. But one of the things I want to be clear about is if I have, let's say, this peg, and I like I like the position. Let me just get rid of this master peg. I, let me just do this. If I control C and control V a peg, and I'm gonna whoops, I'm gonna just replace that for a minute. I never want to do that. I never want to copy and paste to say I need these information because it it creates a huge mess in your animation. If I if I do something to one peg because this is a clone, the same thing will happen to the other. And it, it, if I, let me just see if uh, I can sort of show you what I mean. No, it's kind of difficult because I'd have to, I'd have to do a whole bunch of copy and paste to see the, the problem, but you never want to copy and paste a peg. So let me just undo what we did there. You can highlight two pegs and move the pivot into position or you can copy and paste the information from one to the other, but you can never copy and paste pegs. Okay, thank you very much. That's uh, what I wanted to show you on copying and pasting the information from one peg to another.